Reinhardt, how's it going then? Oh, hi, Brain. You know the drill. Another day, another 100,000 beats. Supplying oxygen, keeping everything alive. Well, I do all the planning and thinking. But sure, without you, I'd just be a pile of neurons. Well, you mean quite a good point there. But wait, hold on. What's happening? Are you okay? You're so uneven. Someone help! No! Right now, as you're watching this, a heart somewhere might be beating for the very last time. Not because medicine failed, but because the life-saving organ they needed never arrived. Each year, about 172,000 transplants are performed worldwide, barely 10% of what's actually needed. The shortage is so severe that 1 in 10 transplants comes from the shadow of exploitative and illegal trade. But what if patients never had to wait? What if, instead of relying on organs donated by others, doctors could simply print new tissues directly inside the body? Here's how it works. Bio-ink is made from hydrogels like alginate and gelatin, mixed with stem cells and liposomes. The hydrogels mimic the extracellular matrix providing a hydrated, porous network where cells can attach, survive, and grow. Growth factors and signaling proteins activate intracellular pathways directing the stem cells into muscle fibers, cartilage, or other needed tissues. Liposomes spherical lipid bilayers release molecules such as calcium ions when triggered by ultrasound waves. They ionically cross-link with alginates carboxyl groups or enzymatic agents that catalyze covalent bonds in gelatin, gelling the ink into solid yet biocompatible tissue. Protein nanostructures from aquatic bacteria known as gas vesicles scatter sound waves, acting as natural ultrasound contrast agents. This lets doctors watch the tissue form in real time. From endless waiting lists and the risks of illegal transplants to a future where life-saving tissues are printed inside the body, on demand. In vivo bioprinting isn't just a dream, it's a breakthrough. Oh my god, I feel, I feel strong again. This is a miracle.